Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll perform a t-test for two means assuming equal variances using data analysis tool pack in Excel 2016 Office 365. For this video, for the example, let's look at what does it say? Can investors do better by buying mutual funds directly or through brokers? So the claim here or the test would be can we conclude at the 5% significance level that directly purchased mutual funds outperform which is a keyword here those bought by or through brokers another keyword in the question assume equal variances if they don't say anything about the variances remember we have to do an F test to determine if the variances are equal or unequal so now here, let's let that the direct purchase mutual funds be mu1, the mean, and for brokers, mu2. Outperform means mu1 is larger than mu2. So this is the claim we're making, mu1 greater than or equal mu2. Move it to the left, and we will have mu1 minus mu2 positive, which means greater than zero, place it in the alternative, the null will be less than or equal to zero. And that means we have a right tail test, so we expect the result to be critical value positive, T stat positive, and so on. Let's look now at the data analysis tool pack, and as we saw in other videos, we have several T tests. Assume equal variances mean we have to go to t-test to sample assuming equal variances. Click OK. Select the variable one range. So we're going to go and select the first one, which is the direct. It's very important to select them in the order that you specified the mean. Otherwise, you will get different sign result. So instead of left tail, you might get right tail and so on. Select the second data range. Then it's going to ask you for the hypothesized mean difference, which is from the claim. That's going to be zero. I did not select labels. I want it at the 0 0.05 alpha, 5%. Let's select the output and press OK. You can see that the result is given here. It's a right tail, so that's the T stat. P is 0 0.01, critical value is 1.66, and for the two tail, the result is over here. But since our test is just a right tail, then we get the values from the result, the P1, we we'll compare it to alpha. And we see that P is less than alpha, which means reject the null. This is the critical value, 1.66. The T stat value is to the right of it, and it's a right tail. And that gives us the same result, which is rejecting the null hypothesis. So the decision here is to reject, which means at the 5% level of significance, since we rejected the null in favor of the alternative, we have enough evidence to support the claim that directly purchased mutual funds outperform those bought by or through brokers. To summarize, two things you need to look for, the keywords in order to get the right claim, and if they assume equal or unequal variances in order to know which test you're gonna perform. If they don't specify anything, you do have to do an F test and look for the video on my channel on how to perform an F test for variances. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.